Hello and welcome. Today we'll be recovering a hard drive from a Sky HD box. I got this for free from a friend of a friend and uh, they just decided these things really aren't that useful anymore unless you have Sky, which we don't. So really all you can do with it nowadays is recover the hard drive. So it's pretty simple. All it really includes is opening it up. Now, of course, you're going to have to void your warranty sticker, but that doesn't really matter, since we're not going to be using this another time. So there are screws located here and here that you need to remove. as well as some on the back. On the back there are various ports such as RS-232, a modem, or telephone port, whatever, Ethernet, HDMI, USB, a SATA connector, a SCART connector, aerials and stuff, and sound and video, and the AC power. We're not really looking at actually using it, so all you really need to do is remove the two screws at the back. Nope, I haven't got it. There we go. Now you're going to want to go back around the front. And with these things, you actually have a little flap and you take this out. You don't have to take it out. Well, you might, I don't know, but it's not really useful for anything. And this one's actually burnt from use. The uh, It's burnt. So what you're going to do is turn it back over. And there's a catch here, which you just lift up. And you kind of uh, yeah, push, remove. I don't, I don't, I'll, I'll be back in a second <laughs> and lift up this tab and release this then this just pulls off like so sometimes it can be a little stiff but it should come off like so and the other side is the same lifting this tab up lifting that across and pulling that like that. And there's a cooling fan. So what you're going to want to do next is you kind of lift this out, like this, and that should just nope, it was yeah, if you lift up it comes out i actually show you on the other side because the first time it didn't work so well. Kind of lift up and then it comes out. So you've got that off and that off and the top is not coming off now because there is a USB. No, yes, there is a USB in, in there, but there's also a screw which you will want to grab your screwdriver and remove it like so ah oh, yes and also there's there's this there's just a catch on the bottom you got to pull up as well as this and hopefully this oh the whole assembly kind of slides out well Kind of. It, it, it doesn't really want to at the moment. Oh no. Yep, it did. And I'll show you all the stuff on the front. Interestingly enough, so LEDs and the interesting play button thing. So those are the buttons. And buttons on the top. So, I think what you have to do next 
is remove the circuit board at the front to get through the rest. So this needs removing, and so does this. Now to do that, you gotta kind of twist. Come on, auto focus. You gotta kind of twist these. Sorry, my arm's in the way. It's not very easy to do this. Uh, twist that, and twist that, and then that should just kind of. Nope. It should just lift up and pull out, like that. And for this, there's also some at the bottom. And here. And there. And there. I think that's it. Why is this a bit separate? It's, that's, I don't know. It's just a bit weird. Oh. Probably want to remove this ribbon cable. Damn it. That's stiff. It's quite stiff. There you go, remove the ribbon cable, and then hopefully the assembly just uh, pops off. And then you have a sky front panel assembly where you can just nick the pieces off. Alright, so now I have the box, just the box. I've got some uh, screws and stuff, and I'm guessing you're going to want to remove that. It's probably in the way. How about this? Uh, I just, that's just pushed in so you'll probably want to, yep, just leave all that out. Kind of apply pressure on the sides and what do you even do for this bit? I don't know, it looks like you just lift it up. I don't see anything holding it in, but... Oh, apart from these, maybe. Okay, so there's bits at the side, like here and here, which you kind of need to just... Bend a bit. There's some on the other side as well. Just gotta bend them. Interesting construction. I would have expected screws, but I guess cost saving is more on... Uh their mind than anything else. And then, oh, it's it's stuck at the back. Yeah, no, then it's off. Then we can see the inner workings of this bizarre beast. Oh, that's nice. Three SATA cables, and they are locking, which is even nicer. Uh, Maybe you do have to get the backboard out, I don't know, but it comes with a fan, which is literally just removable by this small connector. So, in the back, there's the uh, power converter thing for all the power, and is that Molex? Yeah, that's Molex. It's got a Molex connector. I think I just broke a capacitor, but that doesn't matter because I'm not going to be using this. You can actually see the... Uh, card slot in the front. Where, where does it put a card? I threw it away, never mind. Um, <laughs> there's a card slot in the front. You got your power delivery, motherboards, daughter boards. It's like a sandwich in here, Jesus. Uh, loads of stuff. Yeah. Well, three SATA cables, that's, that's alright. So you're probably going to want to remove that. So at the back you have got um, plenty of screws. And some nuts on there, and on the RS232 connector. So, you're going to want to remove those. So, let's just start with the uh, HDMI connector. And then there's one under the... That's too small. Uh, where's my other screwdriver? There it is. If you haven't already noticed, I'm pretty disorganised, but... I always manage to end up somehow doing, actually finishing it. That's a longer bolt than I thought. 
And we've got some more on the uh, AV connectors. Um, yeah, we can just do that anyway. I mean, although it's not connected to this board, these ones down here, I'm still going to do it anyway because, well, uh, I, I can. Because no one's going to stop me. And, I mean, it makes it feel a little more complete taking all of these screws out. And yeah, I'm probably going to use the wrong tool to get the uh, screws off of the uh, nuts off of uh, these, but I mean, hey, it doesn't really matter. If you have the proper tools, I would recommend using them, but if you don't, bodging it is it always works. Unless you do it so badly you actually break something permanently. Uh, don't break things permanently. I mean, I'm doing this in such a way that I can put it back together if I wanted to, even though I'm taking the hard drive. I can't actually get to this one for some reason. Now this one's a little stiffer. A lot stiffer. Okay. I'm going to get a slightly different tool this time. I'm going to get my bigger pliers. And hopefully this works. Yep, yep, that works. Now these things, these skyboxes, are in abundance. You can find them literally anywhere. Corner of the street, car boot sales, eBay. I mean, you can get these things for next to nothing. I've seen these everywhere. They are very, very common. Uh, I mean, if you want a SATA hard drive, it's probably only really for storage. I don't know if it's fast access. I haven't had a look at the specs yet. Which is not very good of me, but whatever. So after, all right. So we've removed as many of the screws as I can see. We've got all of those, all of those. There's none down here. Yeah, that seems. I mean, yeah, I haven't done the AC, but that's the AC. So hey, now what we're going to do is disconnect this little thing here, just by rocking it back and forth a little bit. Have we got anything else on the board? No. Um, there's a zip tie, irritatingly, so I'll just, uh, oh, didn't see any of that. There's a zip tie right there, so we'll just get rid of that. I'm probably not doing this properly, but whatever. Uh, just use a, yeah. I don't care, I'm just going to saw it. I actually don't want to do that because I'll cut through the SATA cable. Um, there you go. And it still doesn't want to come out. Yep, it came out. Right then, so... Now we're not done yet. This is still screwed in. There's a screw here, next to the fan power connector. Which, if you're doing one of these things, you'll actually want to undo because that's what's in the main board. Is there anything else? I do not see it. Also, it feels pretty loose. Now, the last thing you've got to remember is this connector here, which is like a sandwich, so you're going to want to yank that off. And then there you go, it's a board. This is the, uh, probably a CPU or something. But yeah, this is like where all the magic happens. You've got uh, all your stuff. This is, oh yeah, this is the digital board. The other one's the analog board, because they always, for some reason, separate those. And here we have the hard drive, which I don't know what it is because I can see the bottom of it, but this is difficult. Oh, of course, it's locking. Locking SATA cable, mm, very nice. And a locking, even though you wouldn't want to reuse really this because it's more like SATA, we'll use all your data. Rolex tube set cable, which for some reason is very stubborn and not wanting to come out. Alright, never mind. Came out. Just uses a kind of locking thing. So we have the thing, the fan out of the way. And how is this held in? Well, it's held in by two screws at the front and two screws right there. So, what you're going to want to do is, of course, remove the screws. And also hold the hard drive, because otherwise the hard drive is going to go walkabouts, and it's probably going to smash onto the table. Well, not literally smash, but it's going to land on the table. So after you do that, you should just 
maybe. Nope. Nope. There's one more screw there. Take the screw out. And then this thing should just uh, autofocus. Which is clearly not working. Oh, of course, it's another one of these annoying little twisties. Because for some reason, the uh, screw wasn't enough. Also, trying to probably make it harder for people to nick the hard drives out of these things. Uh, is there something still holding it in? I don't know. No, I'm just not doing a very good job with untwisting these twisty things. Right then. Ah! Yeah, it just needs a bit of gentle persuasion. In my case, not that gentle. And um, what is it? It's a Seagate. 500 gig pipeline hard drive. Now, I have had other Seagate drives and they've all died. For example, this one, which is a 3000 gigabyte drive, is dead because these things are super unreliable. These ones, particularly. I don't know about this one, but hopefully this actually works. Also, it feels a little bit thinner. It's a bit thinner. Eh, never mind. But. That is how to ex well, almost fully extract. I think what you got to do really now is... Is that not... Hold on, hold on, let anything. It looks like it's just friction mounted. But yeah, you can see there's... this is not screwed into anything. But this is still on there. I guess you just kind of... Oh, it's kind of got a sticky pad that's not sticky anymore. Okay. Okay, and what you're also going to do is just... The final two pieces is these two screws. Just going to... Remove that one, and remove that one. And there you go! A 500 gigabyte, yep, but we have 500 gigabyte. Five hundred gigabyte pipeline hard pipe pipeline hard drive. After a little bit of effort. A 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive and a locking SATA cable. So that means you could uh, plug this into your computer, which I probably will do a video about another time because I have not got any drive that is actually this big that works. I mean, I don't have another 500 gigabyte drive that works. I do have another 500 gigabyte drive, but it's broken. I also have some one terabyte and two terabyte drives, but this is just, it's actually quite a decent capacity. I mean, Yes, modern drives do go up to 12 terabytes and probably beyond. But really, for any any day use, it's just a pretty decently specced hard drive. These are probably also designed to be reliable because people are going to be using these boxes uh, quite a lot. And I mean, unlike this 3000 gigabyte one, which came out quite a while back, this thing's dead, like very dead. The platters killed themselves. Don't get one of these. Just, just don't. They think it's like something like ninety percent are dead, but free hard drive, yay.